Hey everybody, Jerry Petty here for IGN with an extra special edition of IGN's weekly Star Wars Let's Play, a bonus edition, as it were. That's right, we've already played Dark Forces, the seminal 1995 Star Wars shooter, but we're going back to it. Why? Because the very first level of this game is all about stealing the plans for the first Death Star. And we just learned this weekend that Star Wars Rogue One is all about stealing the plans for the first Death Star. Now, you might have heard some misplaced many Bothans died to bring us this information jokes, folks. That was the second Death Star. First Death Star, all Bothans safe and accounted for. Instead, it's Kyle Katarn going to grab those Death Star plans. Now, this is in no way canonical, and we know that even as an expanded universe property, this would never been regarded as canon, but now firmly shifted into the legends, we have no idea how this process actually played out. May not play out anything like this game. Probably no Kyle Katarnish involvement, although, you know, would love to see the character there by name. But we do have a wonderful, thoroughly enjoyable first person shooter here. Heavily cinematic uh, cutscenes for a, a 1995 release date, wonderful level design graphics and sound effects that for the period were startling and compelling. This was just after Quake, or pardon me, just after Doom. Quake hadn't even been released yet. Wonderful non-linear levels forcing you to search around and discover new things, hidden areas, secret weapons, etc. It was really, really cool. For that matter, it still is. If you get a chance to play it, it's available on good old games and Steam and a couple other places, I think. So, wonderful little game. And this is all about Kalkatarn, Secret Age of the Rebellion, out to grab those Death Star plans, which we know are somewhere around this facility. Right now we're looking for a red key card. Like many old shooters, we got to get key cards to open up new areas, and we're going to find that key card right through this door and then up an elevator. So we're going to have to slaughter some Imperials to take it from them. Kalkatarn's personal body shield. Uh, you know, personal body shield's not particularly common in most uh, Star Wars lore. Uh, there are a few things you'll find from the old RPG about them, and of course they show up a lot in video games. Otherwise, a piece of technology that's not really so much part of the universe, but very useful explaining why you don't die from the first blaster bolt that hits you. So Kyle's going up here, we're gonna use that key card, open this door, head upstairs, kill some more guys, hit another switch, open up a wall, find the secret facility where the Death Star plans are located. So, Rogue One, what a surprise. We knew that Gareth Edwards' standalone Star Wars movie uh, was going to be kind of an independent story. What I don't think many of us expected was that it was actually going to be a prequel to A New Hope, a story that takes place just before the first Star Wars in the original trilogy. I think uh, most of us expected something perhaps uh, post-Star Wars, a sequel of some kind, and uh, I think it's a really refreshing idea to jump into that period. I hope that they continue with the same kind of congruence that they've shown to the aesthetic of the original Star Wars movies that we see in Episode 7, and since it's the same uh, Disney creative team mostly that's in charge of this. I think that's very likely that they're going to want a uniformity in tone and uh, production design. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with this. There have always been cool extra canonical stories of Republic Commandos. You have Kyle Katarn, of course, who goes on to become a Jedi Knight in uh, Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight, and then later on, uh, the protagonist of Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, which are both excellent games. We'll be playing those eventually in our Let's Play series as well. But there are other commanders, commandos, pardon me, uh, the Katarin Commandos, for example, uh, with Lieutenant Page, which again are now, uh, well, always were, extra canonical. Will they be integrated as legends into the Star Wars continuity? Only time can tell. But it'll be interesting to see a kind of a Special Forces Star Wars movie. I like Special Forces movies or movies about uh, elite teams doing missions. Things like Where Eagles Dare, or, you know, that, that kind of stuff. And maybe, uh, maybe they'll find a way to integrate that well into the Star Wars universe. So we come around this corner. Another stormtrooper. But these guys are just kind of milling about in here. Ah, nowhere to go. Why? That's because the Death Star is behind, the Death Star plans are behind a hidden panel. Uh, so we're going to come over here and hit that. So I wonder, uh, what are you thinking about this new movie? The concept of a Star Wars commando movie. The concept of a mission to retrieve the stolen Death Star plans that eventually end up in the hands of Princess Leia and kick off the Star Wars original trilogy. Let us know in the comments what you think. Also, I hope you'll check out IGN's Star Wars Wiki. We're taking contrib contributions from anybody who'll give them right now. So if you want to write for IGN, that's a good way to do it. And for everything Star Wars, keep it locked here.